all right in this video today i'm going to take you guys really how you're going to create your own cargo website with tracking id so if you're new on my youtube channel please my name is lawrence i crave videos how to make money online and affiliate marketing and some tech tips so if you're new on my youtube channel please endeavor to splash that resolution button and click the bell icon turn it on here that's again notify whenever i drop an awesome video like this and to my returning subscribers i really appreciate you guys for being alongside with me right away from the beginning at this moment so right now here um I'm on the system so i'm going to, as i earlier said i'm going to take you guys usually how you're going to create your own cargo websites with tracking id you can see here this is the interface of the website the script you can see let me refresh it so it's loading right now so it's downloading you can see this is the interface everything is looking perfect and uh, beautiful so at the end of this video i'm going to drop a link uh, where you can be able to get the the script you download it from my description below and as i earlier said if you're new my youtube channel please endeavor to splash the rest subscription button and don't forget to like my video if you like if you like my video please thumbs me up and don't forget to share it with your loved ones for those who need this particular script to create their own cargo logistic website so let's go to the admin you can see here this is the admin you can see this is where you can add your tracking and then print your receipt and then settings and log out so let me add a tracking so that you can see bro come inside come inside so you can see i've clicked um add tracking so please let me open the door so let me add the tracking so that you can see and then career fee the amount send us email and then send us address and then the status which if it's in transit or inactive or picked up or arrived or delivered or on hold so anyone um so you can click on original port location where the the shipment will, will be sent and then the receiver you can see the weight and then the receiver's email you can type the receiver's email and then you can other information and the date the date the um, the shipment fee the package description so the departure date and then the estimated delivery date so you can set it and let's add and see what will happen it's loading you can see and you can track your id here you can track your order here so if you actually need the script you can i'm going to drop the link in the description below so where you can be able to get the script all right so i'm going to take you guys really how you're going to do the installation of the script okay so right now here um i have to go back to my c panel my c panel here let's go back it has been added okay this this is it i just created it you can check it here let's track it and see that's it here and then track now you can see this is the information i set and everything is perfect with the google map okay these are the features of this script so right now here i'm going to take you guys with really how you're going to do the installation so after you might have purchased your domain and your hosting and you set up your domain and your hosting so all you need to do is after you purchase the script or sorry you get the script um you come to your file managers here so i'm going to do the installation on this particular subdomain so 
on this particular subdomain here i've already i've already uploaded it but right now here i want to delete it so that we'll do everything from the beginning to the end so that you can watch it and do it as well after you might have get the script so i've deleted everything let's go to the recycle bin and delete everything here as well let's empty the trash let's see deleting go so right now here so this is the script i've already uploaded it you click on upload here click on select you can see here this is a script flight shipping and then you upload it so let's extract it you have to extract it you extract it after you extract it um you go back and create your own database you have to create your database it's loading so this is the database i initially used so i'm going to delete it so that will create another one you guys will see how i did it i'm going to delete the current user deleting the current user So right now here you have to create your i'm going to create new database right let's say for tests for test click on create database create new database okay test is already there i think we need to use another name let's say cargo click on cargo okay you go back so right now here we click on the cargo and then we create our when we need to add our user which is another user for the, the database and then you set your password generate your password generate password copy it and then I've copied it used password and then create user so it's loading so let's come back to the script right now here there's already extra text right so what we're going to do is uh we're going to connect the database on this script okay so you have to check you come down where you can see the script here name db.php so you right click it and edit click on edit Once you click on edit, so we are going to paste the password to copy it, our database passwords. Our database passwords. We are going to paste it here. And then we we'll go back and copy our database user and database name. Come back here. Can check very well my database user and database name are all the same so i'll paste in both space the same and then save it save your changes you save your changes and then we'll go back again so we have to go to we have to go back to our database and give all the permissions okay so now we can go to add users to database we click add you must do this because if you do not do it the database will not connect this is very important that's why i earlier said you have to watch the video from the beginning to the end they have to all privileges be permitted and then make changes 
so right here we'll go back to the database my php admin let's refresh it let's refresh it it's loading so we click on cargo here because this was the database we created initially so we click on cargo so you can see here everywhere is empty so we have to import the database so after you get this the script the files the files will come with the main files and then the database so you click on import database and then click choose files so once you click you click choose files you will see flights database sql and then open then once you open it you click import you click import once you click import you can see everything has been imported so right here you can see this is add me where we're going to get our database and uh, sorry admin login passwords so let's refresh let's refresh our site and see if it's work so it's working perfect so right now here let's check the admin also if it's working It's also loading. Sorry. Let me delete some of the pages that has been opened. So maybe it's making the system to be slow. okay so let's check okay you can see here it's working perfect and the interface also is working so let's watch someone so that you finish loading okay that's finished loading right so right now here you can see here everything is perfect so we have to log into the admin and see where you can be able to create your own tracking id let's log into the admin let's log into the admin here is the admin so we have to click on add tracking then you can see send us send us information and then careers fee and then send us email send us email and let's see in transits in transit and then original port location and don't forget to receive us information must be there receive us information must be there and then the address the dates and then the day it will arrive so Right here, you can click add. Add our tracking. You can see new tracking added successfully. So let's check the new tracking here. You can copy it and let's check if it's working. Let's check if it's working. 
then track now. All right, you can see here, everything is working perfect. So even the Google map will also appear down here. So you can see. So this is how you can be able to create your own cargo logistic website using this particular script. Everything is smooth. You have not to stress yourself. And you can see you can also print. You can print um, your track, your track in also so they can forward it to your clients as well so these are its work so thank you guys for watching and as i earlier said oh the script where you can be able to get a script the link will be in the description below so you can click the link and get the script so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're new on my youtube channel and if you like my video please thumbs me up don't forget to share to your friends as well and thank you guys for watching. See you guys in another video.